So today has been a bit of a depressing day. I've got the whole my boy a lollipop, you make my heart so giddy up. Um, that song stuck in my head because it's been I've been thinking about the baby a lot. Um, I'm relieved that the child has gone into um, mother foster placement um, for 14 weeks, um, and I, you know, I don't want to jinx it. I don't know how it's going to go. Um, I know. I've seen things that make me feel Sophie can't can't look after this child, um, but it's not about my opinion. It's not about um, how I feel. It's 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 the job of the social services because the social services deal with cases every day. Hence, they have probably a better idea of who can cope and who can't. Um, and yes, it's true that I would love the child to live with me, so I can't just be critical of Sophie because maybe I'm just saying this because I want the child in my care um which i do um but yes um i i feel better knowing that the child is definitely safe um my mum definitely does not agree because she just wants the child living with her and she's now very sad that he's not there but at the same time thinking about how many things that she was doing you know she was going to as many films as possible and and just classes and just trying to keep as busy as possible and just like yeah if you really wanted that child you would have tried a lot harder to you know to not just continue living your normal life um you know as a guardian you can't leave you know if you're if you've been told to be a guardian you have to actually guard and you can't guard when you're doing things and you're leaving sophie alone with the child i don't know if she left him alone that often i mean i know i was there a lot of times and so she did a lot of whenever i was there she made a point of doing loads of things so maybe the reason why she was doing loads of things is because I was there. Um, but yeah, she was also encouraging me to do loads of things. And it's just like, hmm, well, if you're doing loads of things and I'm doing loads of things, then that means Sophie's going to be alone or something. So, or Sophie, maybe I think she was encouraging Sophie to go to the cinema as well with me. It's like the whole point of the baby club cinema is that the baby can go to the cinema and then you don't take him to the cinema, you know, with the adults. Um, but yeah she's not quite right in the head definitely not um but she of course is trying to make it seem like i'm the one who's not right in the head and i'm the one who's um you know she's convinced that if the child gets taken off sophie that he's not going to go to me um and i don't want to believe that that's the truth um but i don't know um I, it was my birthday yesterday i do not celebrate birthdays because my life is way too shit for me to want to do that um but it was interesting how i got the confirmation that um i heard confirmation i got we got the confirmation that donny wasn't the father um which means that um if the child is taken off sophie i would have more claim to him because there is no father so that's um really a, a great present because it's um you know it's, it's it's sad um but at the same time it's happy because i would love the child um so yes i I don't know um today i'm again it's, it's i'm happy that the child has been taken into a placement the problem is the placement is a very long way away hence um i'm probably not going to see him the whole time i mean i don't mind traveling a few hours to see the baby but it's it's further than that um and it's going to be yeah it's going to be difficult so um i don't know what's going to happen um i am um, I just know that it, it kind of won't be up to me. It will be up to Sophie and how well she does. Um, and yeah, um, I'm um, that song, My Boy Lollipop, you know, it says, um, uh, I need you, I need you, I need you so, but I don't want you to know. And I kind of agree with that because I don't want the baby, I didn't want the baby to know because I kind of want there to be a case against Sophie to prove that she can't do it um you know I would have loved her to live with me but at the end of the day she wouldn't have done that she would have just waited until she got her holy keys and then she would have gone and tried to do everything by, by herself and you know I could follow her to this holy flat um but yeah it's highly highly likely that I would say something and she won't agree with it you know oh, don't do that and, and she would just like oh don't tell me what to do and then it would might turn into an argument and then she would ask me to leave her flat you know if she's living in my house she can't ask me to leave but if i'm living in her flat she will ask me to leave plus she only has a one bedroom 
and it's it's not like a big flat it's quite small and um i don't really want to live with someone who's um i don't know it's, it's sad when you when you think someone's not doing a great job at being a, a mother for a, a baby you know it's it's sad to see um but yes i am um, i'm not saying that she's i, I don't know it's, it's not it's not my choice i'm just feeling a little bit that's how i'm feeling um and yes i've also found out that johnny is um was a bodyguard for arnold schwarzenegger um i don't know for how long or anything i still don't know too much but um yeah I told him that he's not the father, but I don't think he really believes because he was just like, who told you that information? Was it Linda? Um, because I don't trust anything she says. And yeah, I, it was Linda, but Linda got it from Sophie from an email. Um, but she also said it, they talked about it in the court case. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the truth. Um, but yes, I um, I don't have anything else to say other than other than there's, there's going to be a, a long wait to see how well Sophie does. Um, and it's, it is very sad because this baby is so cute. You know, when the baby first came out, he had like a really tough boy, I can do anything kind of, kind of vibe to him. And then after three weeks of, with being with Sophie, I don't know, he's, he's, he changed a lot. Like I felt, I felt like he was just like, like almost relieved to be with me. And I'm just thinking of all the positions that Sophie's was holding him in, like not holding the neck. And, you know, I, I feel like maybe he was doing that because um, he was happy to finally have someone you know, hold his neck properly. And, and it, it, it slips, you know, often his neck slips into the wrong position. And so you have to constantly stay alert to the fact that it, um, the, the fact that that happens. Um, but yeah. Now that Sophie's in a sort of test environment, she might do, she might work really hard to try and um, do much better. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Any time, any time can tell.